Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting for me to episodes 5 and 6 of March Comes In Like Alliance. Let's go, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> Feels like it's been forever since I've watched this show, even though not really. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> But it is weird to watch this at like 11 o'clock at night because I was supposed to do this earlier today, but my lovely mother needed my help today. I had to help her with a dance that we, in the end, did not follow through with, but I went to go hang out with her and her friends, had fun, like I always do, and then came home, watched some shows with her, and then I was like, hey, I gotta get this shit done. I was like, come on, we're, we're no more procrastinating. I was like, get that ish done I was like I need to we got to get it done today so that I don't stress about it and such because you know how like when you have a day strictly where you're like I'm going to get this done today me I'm the type of girl where I'm like I'm gonna get it done today and the next thing you know it could be like two three days later and I'll be like okay we're gonna get it done today I sometimes procrastinate and I really need to stop that shit Mm -hmm. Okay, bet. Better see my child Momo today. Right? No, it's baby. Where you be going? He's so cute. So that must be his, um, adopted dad, grandfather, sensei. He literally looks like him. Yeah. Or it... Or is that the guy? Okay, thank you. Of course, because you probably saw him as a father figure rather than your actual father. Hmm. Poor baby. Yeah, in a way, he was your first real friend. Mm. That says something. That even your only fa even your family wouldn't give a shit about you. 
There are people who are like that in the real world, which fucking sucks. <gasps> yes! Damn. Gotta wait fucking next year to hear her voices. Best girl, oh my god. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Poor baby. Don't cry. Oh, poor baby. No, no, it's not your fault. Hell, I don't even like seeing her cry. It makes me wanna like, like, oh my god, precious baby, I love her so much, I'm gonna die! Yeah. I know, it'll be okay. Mm -hmm. I know, baby. Another vision to the past. Oh. What in the fucking happy sugar life is this? Oh. Oh my god. That had to be the night when his family died. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh. 
Oh, I know. I'm hungry, too. family. baby. Damn. You've been alone ever since. Of course, it's always a drunken truck driver or somebody who's drunk behind the wheel. This bitch. Yeah, because that's the only place that you felt safe. Mm. Your dad's friend? Yeah. Yeah. You were the only one. He's the only one who you felt safe around. I get that. We all do that. Not one, not two, but all three. Poor baby.
little fucking bitch. I mean, uh, and that's okay, but shit, did she have to slap you like that? What the fuck is that gonna solve? Not only that, but he's family! Even if he's not blood, he lives with you! Of course. I'm just a baby. It's too much for him. Yes, and she's going to have a breakdown next as well. Ooh. And that had to be when she really hated his ass. I mean, because ever since Ray has been with this family, she's hated them. But since her dad just said that itch to, him, to her about him, like, oh, God, she's probably resented him for the longest time. Mm, baby.
Because what else could you do? And that's what it feels like with you. Yeah. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's cute. It's perfect. Ugh. Yes, but uh. You could fly away and be free. Yeah. He still feels trapped, even now. I mean, oh, this episode. Oh, Jesus. Like, mmm. I, I don't like Yoko. <laughs> Let's just say that. Don't like his stepsister. His stepbrother is sweet, but you gotta feel bad for him. I, I, I was assuming that out of the two, the girl would have had her breakdown first, and then he would have. But because of the fact is, it was the son first, then it was the eldest, and after her dad literally was like, oh, <laughs> since you can't beat Ray, there's no reason for you to do this anymore. And so now she resents him for that. I mean, because it's almost like whatever her dad says to her, she takes it out on Ray. And, and you can see that. Like, she really, truly takes it out on him. Doesn't even matter what the hell he says, but like, dude, oh my god. I, I don't even know what else to say. Like, oh god. First losing your whole entire family. And having someone who is necessarily a father figure in your life, coming into your life, befriending him instead of having a relationship. Because he said his, he didn't have the best relationship with his dad before his dad, you know, significantly passed away, rest in peace. But the only one who he could turn to was his dad's friend. I'm glad that, you know, his dad friend came into his life and took him into his home because he didn't have to do that. But he did. Because if he didn't, Ray would have been from orphanage to orphanage to orphanage to orphanage to orphanage to orphanage, 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 orphanage until, like, I think, what, 18? That's a cute picture. I think, yeah, about, like, 18, I think. I don't really know because I'm not an orphan, but, and I haven't looked at things, but I think, yeah, I think around the time you turn about, like, 17 and 18, I think that's officially when they... 
um, kick you out and you have to deal with everything on your own as an adult, just like the rest of us. I'm not really sure, but oh my God, just this kid, the more and more, we're only five, about to go on six, six episodes into this show. And this kid, the more and more I learn about him, the more and more I feel bad of bad for him. Like, honestly, this kid might be more depressed and so sad than like Toru or Yuki or Kyo or anybody from Fruits Basket. Like I you know, like as someone who has read the manga <laughs> while the anime is there, um, well twice because I'm currently rereading it. Um, but with Fruits Basket, a little bit of also Monogatari because especially really with Hanekawa and Senjurahara, those two well no, I am I'm forgetting one. No, not Shinobu. Um, Mayuri? Or my little snail child. My snail child. Those three were the threes that, like, no matter what, when I looked at them, and then Kambaru's in there, too. So those four were the ones who always, no matter what, like, they had the most tragic backstories. And you're looking at these four girls, because, like, I remember when I first started watching Monogatari, and I'm looking at Senshahara, Hanakawa, Hanakawa, um my snail child and Kamadu and I'm like how dark are we gonna get with this story especially for these girls I mean oh god like I, I can't out of the four I can't say who has the darkest story because all four of their stories are dark very individually and you just feel so so bad for them but Ray I mean this kid has gone through hell and back and you felt so freaking bad for him and like it's almost like no matter what, like, anything good that comes this way, he still has more bad than good. And you're just like, oh my god, like, you want to hold him and hug him and say just be positive because there are good things coming your way. It's just going to take time. And not only it was in, you know, his dad's father, um, his dad's friend, but then, as I said again, Akadi and her sisters and her grandfather coming in and also taking him under their wing. I mean, because like I said, I don't think I said this last week, but they didn't have to do that either. I just, I kind of also want to see more on the day Akari brought him home because I think what last week we got like a little teeny tiny bit and such, but I do want to see a little more context on that. But like, oh God, like my freaking heart right now. I, I just can't. This was too much and this is only one episode out of two that I got to watch. And so uh, watch episode six be like... <laughs> 10 times more heartbreaking but like oh god this kid he's gone through so much so fucking much and you just oh my god I'm about to cry again over him he's gone through so fucking much and you just feel so bad and you're just like what it, What can you do for him you know I, I need a minute <laughs> God. Poor baby. Like, oh my God. You would never think someone like him and the way he looks would have, like, such a fucking tragic ass backstory like that. Because I think way but I think what? Mm, I want to say two, three, four months before I got the, <laughs> the request to watch this i i'd seen pictures of this show even like two years ago when like the show was still airing and i i looked at him and i was like damn like he he's just I, I didn't see like sad pictures but pictures where i think he was smiling and i was like oh he's so cute and then now officially watching the show i'm like damn you are like your your backstory like is so fucking fucked up and i hate that but oh god i can't all right, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode five. I mean, no, episode six. Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. All right, let's cry again. God, I smell good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 
I got um body mist perfume that I really really want. Even well, I got the body mist version of it, but I want the perfume so 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 bad. But and it smells so good, and I'm just like. <laughs> One thing that I'm kind of hoping for him, and maybe it might not happen now, but possibly by the end of the series, that he realizes it's not his fault for everything bad that happened to him in a way, because he seems like a kid who thinks it is his fault. This is what happened, and I have no one to blame but myself, because we all feel that way sometimes, and I just, I pray that, you know by the end of the series he can be smiling and happy. Are those tomatoes? I'm some really pretty tomatoes. I mean, God, I'm, I'm just hungry. Okay, where you wanna go? You wanna go to a hot spring or something? Where are you? Because I hear you. Uh, there you are. Oh, like Disneyland. Go play with mommy, baby. I'm busy. Go. Go play. Cody, go play. Oh, I would love that, but you know what? I can't. You know why? COVID. It's pretty beautiful. So, where you want to go? No one's ever asked you that before. Oh, Christ. <laughs> well, yeah, because I mean, a good question 
some people usually practice, yeah. Because no matter what, you have to keep your eye on that prize. Still drowning, huh? Now that's Kyoko. Yeah, because that sounds like her, this bitch. I mean, I know that's fucking, um, what the freak is her name? God. She's such a hoe. I don't like her. Well, no, she ain't a hoe. She a bitch. Like it was your lifeline. Yeah, I really have just like the bare minimum. Mary Cody. I like the Red Sea, Jesus. Is a is a person swimming? Right. 
Dude, you should be exhausted by now. God. Come here. What are you crying for? So what's his face? Such Christ dog. It's pretty. Don't huff at me. <coughs> Cody. Excuse me. He honestly reminds me of someone. I just, I can't think of who it is. Cody? Yeah, no. C come here. I'm almost done with this episode. I'm gonna get this done. Come here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this dog. I got nine minutes, baby, and then I'll pick you up.
Cody. No, over here. Here you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because you don't want to lose, you want to win. But everybody's hard on themselves when they lose at something. Hina? Yeah. They're so cute. Are you hungry? You're hungry. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, you just want the shake. Yeah. Good. <laughs> oh, you look so mature right there. Yeah.
fucking cute. Oh, God. Jesus. Ha! Oh, my God. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Stop it. Just stop, please. I can't. Like, ah! I love these two so much. Oh, I love all these fucking characters. I don't even know what to say about this episode. I mean, the episode really spoke for itself, but... Once again, I still feel bad for him. I, you know what? One thing I do want to say, and this is more about Kyoko in a way as well. Even though Kyoko was such a... Because she is a bitch. <laughs> By the way, her... Not only her body language from last episode, but the way how she speaks. And she's very aggressive towards him. And then no matter what, she want to sit here and beat up on him. <laughs> I mean, Jesus, like, damn. <laughs> like, really, seriously, beating on him. What is that going to do for you and your demeanor and how you bring up, bring yourself, chick? Like, I... Because she cares for you. <laughs> I, I I mean, it, it, yeah, I get that, but. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she's going to worry about you too, as well. What's up? Are you choking? Oh, cute boy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Poor baby. Like, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Mm. It really is. The weather. Um, what do you like to do? <laughs> um, as I was saying, yes. Kyoko, I mean, seriously. Beating on someone, what is that going to do for your bride as, like, a female? <laughs> I mean, she she seems very tomboyish, and uh, and I get that, because I'm, I'm half girly girl, half tomboy, but I feel like I'm more tomboy. I mean, mm, no, I'm more girly girl than tomboy, but I'm, like, a mixture of both. But at the same time, like, what is that going to do for you? Uh, to me, as of right now, I felt like it's doing nothing, but she's, like, trying to boost her own ego. That's what I want to say. But I felt like by the end of this, the next time these two meet, maybe they'll have a better relationship. Maybe they'll be able to get along and stuff. It's almost like how I felt with um the characters from I Want to Eat Your P uh, Pancreas movie. And it's the guy and the girl... Lynn's character from this from that movie her best friend and how those two couldn't see eye to eye and because the guy the girl didn't like him and so at first I was thinking there is no way in hell like when she dies and such 
that these two will be able to work it out. But by the time the movie ends and you get to see the after credits that they do end up becoming friends and he has become a better person almost like what a couple of months or a year after what's her face's death. But I, I don't know. I mean, from flashbacks, because since we are looking at flashbacks of her, I have to say I don't like her. Kyoko is one of those characters that I feel like no matter what, like probably if I see her, if we get a present day, like, seen with the two of them seeing each other again I feel like I might have to punch her in the face even though I can't but she would be one of those characters that yes like at the end of the day if I ever saw her walking down the street I probably end up punching her in the face but what is that gonna do for me nothing <laughs> but like I hate you so much I'm gonna punch you in the face but it ain't gonna do shit for me except you know my arm my hand is gonna hurt like hell but I it just I feel like yeah by the end of this series the next time these two and Ayama when they all meet up together again um, as a quote unquote family, maybe they will get through it. Who knows? I mean, would he probably want to talk to those two again after the situations that really more his stepfather slash Shogi Master has put him through, technically has put his kids through, and then because both of his kids feel some type of way, one beat the crap out of, out of Ray and the other eventually quit and kind of distance himself from Ray and I get that and it's like that but honestly I really don't know but just gotta wait and see other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes five and six of March comes in like a lion if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the match squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Monday for everybody else and next I'm about to say Thursday next Friday <laughs> for patreons for episodes seven and eight once again let me say i am sorry for my dog my dog is just really wanting because the way in the chair that i am sitting he can't i can't pick him up and so it's hard and yeah but until then i will see you guys all next time bye